Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining the webinar this afternoon. My name is Simon Volta. I'm the Director of Sales here with V-Technologies. I also have Moses Webb, our sales executive for our small business uh, interface with QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Online. <clears throat> this afternoon, we're going to spend some time uh, reviewing our Starship uh, product uh, that integrates with QuickBooks Enterprise and QuickBooks Online. I know um, a lot of you might be using our other product with ShipGear, um, and we appreciate you jumping on to see how we can help you migrate uh, over to our Starship product and the um, benefits and features it offers over what ShipGear is offering you today. Um, I'm going to give one minute here before we get started with a quick presentation, um, and then I'm going to turn it over to Moses to take you through a couple different workflows with Starship. Um, we're going to feature our e-commerce um, workflow today using Shopify um, and QuickBooks and how that can benefit um, those e-commerce um, orders for you and how we can update both sources as well as an LTL workflow and how we can work with different LTL carriers um, if you're doing that kind of shipping as well. So I'm just going to give it another minute here, let some people join, and we'll kick it off here in um, a minute or so. Thank you. All right, well, welcome everyone. I'm gonna get started here. Um, again, my name is Simon Volta with V Technologies. I'm the Director of Sales. Um, we're gonna go through this quick presentation, but before I start that, um, just a couple housekeeping tips. Um, everyone is on mute. Um, if you do have a question, we will take questions at the end and we'll provide the answers um, if we have them. Um, so if you do have a question, there should be a little hand or raise hand button you could click on and type your question in the uh, box and I'll try to address all the questions at the end with time permitting. Uh, if we don't get to all the questions, we'll definitely get you the answers um, via email or we'll follow up after the uh, webinar is over. All right, so getting started here. <clears throat> so who are we? So for those of you who aren't using Shipgear or Starship today, uh, we've been in business since 1987. Uh, Starship has been around since 1989, so it's been around for quite some time, for about 28 years now. Uh, we've been in the uh, QuickBooks space uh, for 15 plus years, uh, so we are a gold developer with Intuit today, uh, and we have about 10,000 customers using our product uh, nationwide. A couple of the key features I like to highlight here, um, UPS and FedEx both have subsidy programs that they offer. You might be familiar with them. UPS has a program called Customer Technology Program, uh, which basically helps subsidize the cost of Starship. So if you are interested, um, you may want to reach out to your UPS rep to help basically help fund Starship's purchase, as well as FedEx. They have a program called FedEx Technology Incentive Program um, in which basically they do the same thing, will help you fund um, and subsidize the cost for Starship as well. A um, Couple of the key differences between the two solutions we offer today in Starship versus Shipgear. Um, so Shipgear right now, um, basically you're utilizing the individual carrier's user interface. So either WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager where Starship basically, those will go away and you'll use Starship to process all carrier labels. Um, it's only FedEx and UPS on Shipgear side and parcel only, whereas on Starship, you have the ability to process multi-carrier, multi-mode, so we can do LTL as well. You don't have any line item integration with Shipgear, uh, but line item integration is available and Moses will show you what that is all about uh, on today's demo. And then also third-party applications. Um, you don't have um, any integrations with any WMS, any EDI, uh, we're Starship, we have EDI solutions with uh, True Commerce, SBS Commerce, um, that we can kind of talk more in detail, not today, but we will have a future webinar on that, or we can do a private you know, uh, demo for you if you do have those types of solutions in place, um, as well as like a Fishbowl or Activate, um, we can integrate too with um, directly. Um, so if you are using those programs or thinking about using a WMS in the QuickBooks application, we do have integrations to those as well. With Shipgear, um, you don't have any access to rate shopping, uh, whereas in Starship, that's one of the key features. You can rate shop all of your carriers in one portal, so you don't have to go to multiple portals to do that um, any longer. 
Um, you also have the ability to batch process shipments in Starship. So if you're doing um, a lot of e-commerce or just general orders in itself and you want your shipper to be able to process multiple orders at once, um, you can do that inside of Starship by selecting any number of orders and processing at once and just printing at your thermal or your laser printer. And then last but not least, Starship also offers your e-commerce extension, which we're going to feature today um, and show you how it works with um, uh, one of our shopping carts with uh, Shopify and how we can update both not only QuickBooks, but also your Shopify um, card as well. <clears throat> so this is just kind of a little bit of a workflow. So we just kind of talked about the ERP e-commerce integration. Uh, we refer to it as e-commerce extensions. Um, so you'll see in a bit which ones we work with and which ones we don't work with currently. Um, but we work with many different ERPs. Today's really, really around QuickBooks, um, Enterprise and QuickBooks Online. Um, if you are using a different version of QuickBooks, um, unfortunately, Starship will not be able to integrate with any other version of QuickBooks other than the Online or Enterprise Edition. Um, it is multi-carry, multi as I mentioned. Um, we do have custom rules with uh, freight rules as well as ship via rules, in which basically allows you to rate shop a carrier behind the scene. Um, so you don't have to physically rate shop it yourself. Um, you could set um, handling rules if you want to charge extra for a particular order. Um, you can have all these types of rules built into Starship so that way it's automatically calculating and the correct amount is being put back in your QuickBooks order uh, on the back end. And then we talked about the WMS integration that's available with uh, Fishbowl or Activate. Um, so if those uh, applications would apply and you're looking for a pick pack inventory type of um, integration, we can work with those systems right out of the box as well. And then EDI, and we, like I said, we work with True Commerce and SBS Commerce right now. Um, you know, so if you do use those applications and you have EDI orders with big box retailers, um, it's something that you definitely want to talk to us and how we can simplify that workflow for you um, on that side. And then just kind of just, you know, reiterating what I just talked about. So we really think of Starship as sort of just a piece to your total workflow. Um, so really kind of taking your orders out of, you know, QuickBooks or Fishbowl or Activate and moving them through the, you know, the workflow and then kind of creating and help, you know, generate, say, 128 labels um, or even ASNs for those EDI orders and kind of bring it all back, you know, to your ERP. This is a list of carriers that we work with currently. We work with about two dozen different carriers. Um, so if any of these are, uh, you know, on your list of carriers you're using today, it's definitely worth to looking into. Um, if you don't see a carrier on this list, um, and not to say we can't work with it, we do offer a manual bill lading option and which will help automate the bill of lading and get that pro number back into um, your uh, QuickBooks application, um, but it won't give you the rating option that you um, might need if you're looking to do that. So, but again, worth the looking into and inquiring about if you're interested. And then um, one last thing here I have is basically the shopping carts. So the ones that you see on the left, Amazon, Shopify, eBay, Magenta, WooCommerce are all ones that we have uh, direct integration with. Um, so if you don't want to flow anything through QuickBooks and you want to integrate directly to, um, we can integrate uh, directly to these uh, shopping carts, um, but you can also use them as an extension. So you can flow your orders into QuickBooks, and then we can update both sources for you with the tracking information and completing the order. Um, and then the ones on the right that you see are currently in development, um, and they should be available either Q1 or Q2 this year. Um, so, and we have probably another um, 10 or so that are on the platform uh, to be developed uh, in 2018. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Moses. Um, he'll take you through the couple workflows we discussed, um, and then we'll kind of open it up um, for some questions and answers after that's done. Um, and as I mentioned to a few, um, for those of you who joined today and who've registered, um, we are offering a um, special promo uh, for those customers who either are new or existing with Shipgear, you know, want to migrate, um, but we are offering through February special promotion, so stay tuned um, on that, and that'll be displayed on the end before we um, uh, sign off here. So without further ado, Moses, I am going to turn this over to you here in a second. All righty. Hold on a second. 
All right, thank you, Simon, and uh, thank you all for joining the webinar to view the benefits of Starship. Um, and today, I'm going to briefly walk through a demo of Starship with QuickBooks Enterprise. Um, as Simon mentioned, for QuickBooks Online users, um, the process you'll see today with QuickBooks Enterprise is almost identical um, in terms of the workflow. Uh, so keep that note there. And so today, I'm going to show you uh, two different orders um, to show the interface and the workflow process. Um, the first order is going to be a small parcel order uh, with Shopify as an extension. And the second order uh, will be an LTL example. So to jump right into it, I'm going to pull up Shopify here. And so as I mentioned, uh, Starship uh, offers integrations to your e-commerce platforms and uh, two workflows. Uh, if you want to pull orders directly from your e-commerce e platform um, into Starship, you can do so with a direct integration. Um, however, if what I'm going to show you today is the workflow with e-commerce as an extension to QuickBooks Enterprise. So as you see here, I have order number uh, 1130 and it's unfulfilled with these two uh, direct uh, chipmunk tees. <laughs> Uh, line items down below. So uh, with outside of solutions such as a web agility, uh, what they're going to do and what their use is for is to download uh, e-commerce orders into your QuickBooks um, to process. So um, with the help of web agility again, I was able to download that information and that order inside of QuickBooks and I created a sales order here. Um, so for simple QuickBooks users who are not uh, using e-commerce platforms, this is a familiar screen um, and this is where we're going to process and I'm gonna show you the example today. So inside of this uh, QuickBooks order and brought over the two line items down below, I'm going to ship to Virginia, and in the ship via field, I have uh, UPS maps. So one important thing to note for e-commerce users and who plan to integrate the uh, e-commerce and the QuickBooks um, integration. For Starship, uh, we're gonna need um, to note the e-commerce platform. Um, so for those who are using various e-commerce platforms, such as Amazon, eBay, Shopify, uh, for this specific order, we need to note that specific platform. Uh, we need to note the order which is in this custom field that I have placed here, and also the line item information. So you can set the serial number um, that matches that e-commerce platform, or you can also set uh, the two line items to ship all inside of Starship as well. All right, so let me go ahead and minimize that, and I'm going to bring up Starship. So here's Starship's interface. Um, here's the single application, multi-mode application. And to bring in that QuickBooks orders, um, I can do so in three ways here. So if that sales order is scannable, I can scan in the barcode and that will populate here in this input field. Secondly, I can click on this magnifying glass and this will open up a list of open sales orders inside of uh, QuickBooks. And lastly, if I know that document number by heart, I can simply go ahead and input that in the input field as well. All right, so in this top left quadrant that I'm highlighting here is where Starship is going to pull that header information uh, from. So if you notice the transportation field um, is being pulled and which was mapped to that ship via field from Starship and is being updated with UPS ground and the billing information. The sender information came over as well. And if you are drop shipping, you can map um, the appropriate information to show say a different company here as well. And down the recipient, um, this is being uh, pulled directly from that ship to field um, inside of QuickBooks. And behind the scenes here is an address validation. Um, so right now it's telling me that it's not validated. If I were to click on it or process, it'll go ahead and validate this uh, behind the scenes as well. All right, so jumping down to the packaging view, I'm gonna expand all. So Starship has imported all the line items from that QuickBooks order um, and imported here into a custom box. So here in the packaging view, you can auto package line items um, inside of Starship, um, which I actually will show you in my LTO example on how to do so. Or uh, with, as Simon mentioned, with the WMS systems such as Activate or Fishbowl uh, that we work with, Starship will auto populate uh, that packaging scenario from those specific systems in that specific order uh, to view here in this packaging view. So here you can add um, packages, you can delete packages, and you can also drag and drop specific line items into different boxes as well. 
So if I were to click on this uh, line item here, if you notice up top, the line item tab opens up. And inside of Starship, we try to pull as much information as possible um, from that QuickBooks uh, specific line item detail information. So, but however, if you currently don't populate your line item information inside of QuickBooks, um, Starship has its own uh, database that allows you to enter and store uh, specific information. So uh, fields like the item number or the description information, the values being pulled from QuickBooks, um, and other fields such as the unit weight, uh, the MMFC code for LTL shipment, and the class identification, and also for international documents such as the Schedule B or the HTC code um, and the tariff code can all be stored inside of Starship. So jumping over to the Rate Shop feature here, I'm going to click Shop All. And by doing so, Starship uh, will go out and populate your negotiated rates with the carriers that you have purchased inside of Starship. So as you see here, Starship has requested the rates directly from those carriers and populated that information here. So uh, one key feature with the rate shop is um, Starship allows you to view both your small parcel and your LTL rates all in one screen. So here in this view, uh, you can sort by the carrier name, the service name, group them together. You can sort by delivery here. And also what I'm showing now is a sort by uh, charges here. So one thing to note, if you wanted to select a different carrier here, such as the post office or FedEx ground, um, it's as simple as clicking on that specific carrier and the transportation field will update as well. And then we will go ahead and print out that label associated to the carrier. And we will also update both your e-commerce platform and your QuickBooks um, with that specific carrier that you decided to cho or choose. So you wouldn't have to re-import that order um, and go back and, and select a different carrier. You can do so here in this rate shop feature. Alrighty, so this is ready to uh, process and ship. And to do so, I can click on F5 or I can click on the ship and process button up top. And so now Starship is going to update your sources, uh, sources meaning your QuickBooks, uh, if you're using e-commerce platforms, we will update the tracking information as well uh, to your e-commerce platforms all in real time. And we're also going to print out uh, your labels associated for the orders. So in this example here, which I'm going to enlarge for you all, here's an example of a smart label. So a smart label um, inside of Starship is a shipping label and a packaging list on a 8x11 um, that can be printed to a, thermo a thermal printer. And so to the left, I have your uh, standard carrier uh, die cut sticky label here that can be peeled off. And to the right here, I have a standard packaging list here. Um, both are customizable. Um, obviously the shipping label um, has certain limits because that is standard with the carrier. Um, but if you wanted to add specific information, you can do so, carrier or the uh, company logo. And also on the packing list, if you wanted to add different fields um, that we can pull from uh, QuickBooks, or you can do so here. All right, and now you are all set and ready to process your next order. Uh, before I do so, I want to go back into QuickBooks here and to show you the write back that occurred. So similar to um, if you are using Shipgear today, um, the write back is fairly similar. Um, but however, inside of Starship, we have what we call freight rules um, that allow you to set up certain scenarios in terms of the freight write back. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to add a specific shipping, shipping and handling fee, um, you can do so. Or if say you want to remove certain charges from being written back if the shipment is over um, say a specific amount, you can also do so as well. So if you notice here in QuickBooks, um, we wrote back the ship on, we wrote back the service, and the tracking information as well as the charges. And for those using the Shopify extension or any e-commerce extension, let me go back and refresh this to show you the right back that occurred. So here in that order um, that I just refreshed, we now uh, triggered the fulfilled uh, for that order. In the notes section here, we wrote back the tracking information, the service, and the tracking number. 
we marked all the items were shipped. And also down in the fulfillment, we added the carry information and the tracking number in the tracking field, uh, which is a direct link to uh, the carrier's interface and website. All right. So that concludes the e-commerce uh, workflow uh, with uh, e-commerce as a extension to QuickBooks. And so one of the key features with Starship in terms of the workflows um, that vary from small parcel or an international or an EDI order, um, they all are fairly similar. So with that being said, I want to quickly show you an LTL order in a shipment and highlight the advantages uh, of that. So I'm gonna open up QuickBooks here and I'm going to find my LTL shipment. And here we are. So uh, again, a familiar screen uh, to most. Here's a simple sales order. I have two line items down below. I'm going to ship to California. And in the ship via field, I have marked to Old Dominion. I'm going to minimize QuickBooks one more time, and I'm going to bring up Starship. So to bring in that order again, I can scan that order in. I can click the magnifying glass to open up the open sales orders, or I can go ahead and input that sales order into QuickBooks. One thing to note is we can also pull um, by invoices, sales receipts, or by the customer as well. So if you're not using sales orders, um, you can also pull in by those uh, different, fields, different documents as well. So the information came over uh, from that QuickBooks order, the transportation field updated to Old Dominion Freight Line, LTL. The sender information in the recipient, came over as well in our address validation tool that's happening behind the scenes. So jumping down to the packaging view now, I'm going to expand all. So as I mentioned earlier in the packaging scenario, um, I have set for this specific uh, example is that the two line items are packed um, into a specific box here. Um, so again, with the WMS systems, this would automatically be pulled over. Um, but I just want to highlight this feature uh, if you decided to take advantage um, of, of the uh, Starship packaging scenario. So if I drill into my line item here, again, the line item tab opens up. Um, all is, is the same in terms of uh, the last order. Now I just attached the MMFC code, uh, which was already assigned and it displays here. And now if you notice the BOL tab opens up and here's where that information uh, will populate for your uh, bill of lading entry. The rate shop feature stays the same if I decided to shop all. And to go ahead and process and ship here, I can again hit F5 or the ship and process button up top. And so now Starship is going to print out uh, the bill of lading. So here, let me go ahead and enlarge this for you. So for this example, I'm using Starship's bill of lading. Um, don't mind the printer settings here. Um, I'm in a test environment. Um, but some carriers, and which is unique to Starship, uh, such as Old Dominion, will provide you with a direct bill of lading that was emailed directly to me. So here, let me enlarge this for you. So here's a, just an example. Um, some carriers that we integrate with have this direct uh, API that we are able to use and take advantage of uh, to email this uh, bill of lading to uh, use specifically. If not, um, you can always opt out and choose the uh, Starship bill of lading here as well. Alrighty, and now you are all set. So if you notice the workflow was fairly similar and to go back and show you the write back inside of QuickBooks here. So on the ship on to date, I have the information attached. I have the service of the Old Dominion Freight LTL and also the tracking information with the freight charges all on one line inside of QuickBooks. Alrighty, so that concludes the shipping process um, with Starship, a uh, brief overview. Um, as I mentioned, or um, if not, then 
Starship comes with two additional features, one being eNotify and the other being Dashboard um, that comes with the Starship license. So first, Dashboard is a data analyzing tool um, that grants your entire front office access to shipping information, uh, different reports, various histories that you can run um, in stats. And so here's just a, a overview of what the interface looks like. Um, so here I'm showing my shipment, shipment uh, information up top. I have a chart, a chart down below with the shipment by carrier. I have another chart with the shipment by mode. And then here you can run different performance indicators. Uh, as I mentioned, you can run different reports as well. Secondly, uh, eNotify is our custom email generated tool. Um, so eNotify e allows you to customize email notification and replace uh, your carrier supplied email that you're probably uh, used to today. And so with this, uh, we give you access to uh, brand and include additional information from QuickBooks that may be important for your customer. So I have an example here of an eNotify email that is sent out. Um, I have the company logo up top. The ship information, I have your order number, I had the service, and what was actually in that specific packaging. I also included a master tracking number here, uh, which is a direct link for your customer to the carrier's um, site to track their package. And also down below, um, I included a, a coupon um, back to the website to attract more business. Uh, for future purposes, um, but this is fully customizable. We provide you with a template um, and you can uh, customize a, a partial order, an LTA order, or however you need to. Okay. So that concludes uh, my part of the demo here. I'm going to switch it back to Simon here to conclude the webinar and answer any additional questions that you may have. <clears throat> All right, well, thank you, Moses, and um, appreciate that. Um, I'm going to go ahead um, and let me just turn this back to me here. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch a quick poll. Um, and again, if you have questions, we're going to open it up for some questions um, at this time. So please um, fill out the question, um, and I will go ahead and be more than glad to answer those for you. We'll take a few minutes for that. Um, as we do that, I'm going to go ahead and launch a poll. Um, so if you can just take a quick second to uh, fill out uh, the answer to this poll, um, and then that way we can follow back up with you on any specific needs you might be looking for in regarding Starship. Um, and by all means, if you do have ship gear questions, um, we'd be more than happy to address those as well for you. Um, if you have those. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Um, so if you can take that. Um, okay. So I <clears throat> um, need to see if there's any questions here, and then I can take those. We have one question here. All right. <clears throat> Uh, what if I use a vendor that is not, oops, just lost my question. What if I use a vendor that is not on the list or is a small company? Um, I believe that question um, is regarding the LTL. Um, if you're using a specific carrier that's not on the list, uh, we do have a manual bill lading option um, that we can provide. If uh, you remember, Moses showed you our straight bill lading option. Uh, we do offer a straight bill of lading or a VIX bill of lading that you can uh, print. Um, and basically, we would have you scan in um, a pro number um, on the, with a barcode that is tied to it um, that will allow you to get that pro number back into QuickBooks. So that's basically how we can work with those carriers. Um, we just won't be able to provide you the rating um, feature, but we can still help with automate the bill of lading for you so that way you can bring that back into QuickBooks. Um, let me just... Uh, let's see if we can expand this. <clears throat> is the rate shop tab only for parcels or does it include freight? Uh, how are the carriers populated in the list? 
Um, the rate shop tab is for both parcels and LTL. So we'll show you all your parcel and LTL options together. Um, so, um, so that answer that. And then how the car carriers populated in that list, um, it's only going to show you your license carriers. Um, so whatever your license for and your Starship uh, license will reflect in there and showing your negotiated rates. Um, you do also have the option of showing your published rates um, if you don't want to see your um, uh, discounted rates for some reason. Uh, will Starship print a two-part label, customizable? Um, the smart label basically uh, that Moses showed uh, on the demo is uh, basically our, our way of showing you our label to um, help print your shipping label, but also your uh, packing list together. Um, that is printed to a laser printer. Um, so you'll peel the shipping label off and the other piece becomes your packing list for inside the box. The packing list itself is fully customizable. Um, so you can put in your company logo, a trading partner information. We give you a full template designer in Starship to work on that packing list um, to your liking. Uh, let's see, a couple other questions here come in. Um, just to make sure these things are not automatic. Someone would always need to enter in the info. Um, I'm not sure what that question is about uh, necessarily. Um, if you're asking if uh, you need to, if it has anything to do with importing the orders um, from QuickBooks, someone would need to either key in the sales order or sales invoice or scan that in to bring it into Starship. So that way the information would then flow back into QuickBooks automatically. There's one uh, key feature we do have with QuickBooks and Starship is our information does um, seamlessly flow into there. There's no syncing uh, between the applications to get the information back to QuickBooks um, or for your e-commerce integrations as well. So I hope I answered that question, but I can follow back up with you um, to make sure I did on that one. <clears throat> um, is it compatible to Zebra Thermal Printer? Yes, it is. Um, for those of you using um, U, uh, Post Office, um, for shipping, um, you just need to make sure it's ZPL2 um, uh, language. Uh, that's the only way it's going to work with uh, the USPS. Uh, so if you're using an older thermal printer, um, you may want to check the actual language that it's using uh, for it to be compatible. Uh, can you link Shipgear or Starship directly to Shopify without needing QuickBooks? Um, Shipgear, you cannot link to any e-commerce um, except Amazon and eBay. Uh, where a Starship, you could link directly to Shopify without using QuickBooks, yes. Um, so that can definitely be done. And let's see, does, uh, does Starship operate in conjunction with or in place of Shipgear? Um, so Starship's going to replace Shipgear. You won't need to be using WorldShip or Ship Manager any longer. So Starship would replace that altogether, um, and you would be migrating into the new platform. Uh, can you pull in the customer an address to create a label from Shopify directly with Shipgear or Starship? Um, you can do that with Starship. I think I answered that already. Um, so you can integrate directly to Shopify, pull in the customer information, and write back to Shopify uh, without updating QuickBooks if you like to do that. <clears throat> uh, not Amazon. So when shipping happens, it does not auto send tracking and info, and it does not add the dollar amount into the transaction. Um, it does not auto send tracking and info, and does not send. Um, so anytime we uh, integrate with any of our e-commerce or ERPs, um, we're basically, you have the option of um, creating a rule that tells Starship not to send either tracking or cost back, um, or you can have everything written back. So it's completely your, uh, choice uh, to what you want written back to your ERP or your e-commerce. <clears throat> and I'll take a couple more here because I know we're running up against the clock. Um, what do you mean by licensed carriers? <clears throat> also, Moses said purchase carriers. What does that mean? Um, so basically, we um, the way we price our Starship license um, is each module is sold independently. Um, we do have a QuickBooks bundle that allows for a couple carriers um, to be included with your Starship license. Um, but if you require more than the two carriers um, and you need, say, five carriers, you would need to purchase those um, individually. But we also do have a bundle of carriers that we offer at a number of five uh, carriers that we offer at a bundled price as well. Um, so that's what purchased carriers or licensed carriers you know, means. 
you have special rates or pallet rate pricing with LTO carrier, can you set that up to show up? Um, so only very few carriers um, with their API support pallet pricing. Um, so we would need to talk further to see what carriers are using specifically to see if it supports the pallet rate pricing to show up in Starship. <clears throat> and will we retain our negotiated rates with UPS? Yes, you will. Um, we do not um, offer any rating. Um, the only rates you do get by being a Starship customer are through the post office. You will receive CPP pricing that we offer, um, which are discounts that um, can normally not be attained um, by, a, say, a small business, um, where we will be able to offer those specific discounts to you to take advantage of to compete, you know, say, with a UPS or FedEx if you're using those carriers. Um, and I'll take one more here, and then I'm going to close the poll up. Um, Will we be able to send invoices to customers using EDI and A56 ASN documents so that the tracking numbers will automatically post to the orders on their end? Right now, it's sending an A10 using ship gear. This is an option explained earlier as a line item integration. So the way the EDI works, um, basically, we're going to create an XML transaction. Um, when we process the shipment, that XML transaction is going to contain the tracking number. It'll contain any UCC 128 information, as well as help generate the ASN for, say, a true commerce or an SBS commerce um, platform, uh, they'll take that XML uh, file we create um, and then basically convert that onto their end and upload uh, and close out the PO for your trading partner. And one last question here, can it integrate to work with stamps.com? Um, we work with Pitney Bowes um, with our USPS. Um, so the answer to that would be no, we would have you um, set up a, a Pitney Bowes account um, if you're going to take advantage of the post office to ship. Um, is the address validation as accurate as USPS website? Yes, we are verifying the street address um, through Pitney Bowes, um, as well as the zip code. Um, so we do a double uh, check there to make sure everything is good. And then also we utilize the carriers between FedEx and UPS to validate the residential versus commercial flag as well. <clears throat> Will it replace Indicia or work with Indicia? Yes, it's replacing Indicia with Pitney Bowes. Um, so basically, you would set up a Pitney Bowes account and close out your Indicia account if you were going to take advantage of Starship at that point. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead. Um, I think that was the last question here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close our poll. Um, we have about 81% uh, people voted, so thank you for that. <clears throat> All right, so last but not least, um, you've probably all been waiting for here. Um, let me get back to my presentation here. So um, we are running, as I mentioned earlier, a special promo. Um, so through the end of February, um, so if you call Moses or myself um, to talk further and want to see a private demo or talk further about your workflow, uh, we'd be more than happy to do that. Um, we'll also follow up with those of you who are expressed interest in Starship to go over the details further. Um, but again, any of those who do purchase Starship by the end of February, um, you will need to tell us your promo code, which is Starship 2018. Um, you'll receive 25% off your total quote um, for the purchase of Starship. Um, but again, you will need to this promo code in order for that discount to be applied. So please reach out to us. We'll be reaching out to you here in the next couple days. Um, and again, I appreciate everyone joining this afternoon, and I apologize for running a little long. Um, but again, we hope to talk with all of you soon, and I appreciate jumping on and have a great rest of your afternoon.